thanks. So I would like to speak about some uh, breakthrough results in wave energy. My name is uh, Patrick Muller. I am the CEO of uh, Cork Power. So wave energy is a huge opportunity that we are unlocking the largest untapped resource of clean energy that is out here. Uh, the challenge that we are up to, though, is to design devices that are robust enough to survive the toughest storms, at the same time produce enough electricity to make it a viable business case. Until recently, wave energy converters have been generally too large, too heavy and too costly compared to what they've been able to produce and they've been prone to failures in storms. This is what we are changing by introducing a new class of resonant wave energy converters to the market. This is our half-scale C3 device as it looked like when it was tested in Orkney of the last year. Uh, we're adding to wave energy two critical functions that have been previously missing. The first one is an ability to survive storms by a new transparent protect, pr protection mode, where our devices become transparent uh, to big waves, very similar to a wind turbine being able to pitch the blades in storm. The second one is advanced control technology that makes these buoys move in resonance in optimal timing with each incoming wave in operational sea states, which greatly enhance the motion and thereby the power capture. The result is that we can capture more than five times as much energy per ton of device, more than three times as much energy per volume of device compared to anything else that has been shown in wave before. And, uh, Overall, we've demonstrated this with measured proven numbers and a structured product verification process. Since 2012, we've been testing the technology first in Portugal, then in France, and in smaller scale, and did bench testing in Sweden. And in our recent stage three demonstration, we've taken a half-scale device through dry testing in Sweden and then ocean testing in, in Orkney, in Scotland. Uh, we developed some unique capabilities of debugging, stabilizing, and verifying these equipments on land by using hardware in the loop test rigs where we use simulated wave loading. Our recent device took all the worst storm loadings it could in dry testing and we qualified the device for the Orkney waters before we shipped it to Orkney last year. This is what it looks like when we get handled. We use low cost, effective operation uh, methods, 3,000 pounds per day uh, boats, and in the testing we've done in Orkney since last year, we've proven very effective operations and maintenance. We're now down to an hour of connecting or disconnecting a device if you need to service them. Uh, the production in the ocean has proven to produce slightly more energy in all the sea states compared to the simulation models that we have had. And we've survived all the storm conditions that we've had there over the last year. So today we can say that resonant wave energy is now a reality. The transparent protection mode is key to making this work. Getting more energy with less devices brings down the capex per megawatt. And using uh, lightweight compact devices brings down the opex, which all contributes to a very competitive cost of energy. Our technology has been certified by DNV in this stage, a big effort there. And we're now working towards full-scale demonstration uh, and where we are certifying three more full-scale devices uh, to get a fully certified and warranted uh, offering to customers that we will be ready to ship in volume by 2023. Our team uh, combines some of the most respected scientists and engineers out of this sector with a management team that has a track record of, of taking technologies like this to the market. And due to the very strong results we've had so far in WAVE, some of the leading utilities and project developers around Europe is now working with us in bringing clean, predictable, and low-cost electricity from our oceans. Thanks. <laughs>